Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Detroit! The uh, automation uh, 0.01, basically. From back from 1993, when it was released, and it was the... Uh, oh, one of the first? Which one? Which one came first? Was it uh, Old Time or Detroit? They both released in 1993, I think. Uh, anyway, they but are. they are beloved by all those old fucks like me who Ooh. still were longing for a, a good car company tycoon game, which uh, still isn't uh, isn't finished, of course, but I'm working on it, so uh, uh, we'll get there eventually. And now, uh, yeah, let's call the bank, put something in there, and then see how our new lineup is performing so far. And we just finished it, put in the new systems, and maybe we will see us run away with tech. Uh, until the early 30s. <laughs> yep. Automation Inc. is on the leading edge of technology with their latest model. The Valor Mark 8 will be featuring the first safety wind in any vehicle. This new enhancement is sure to attract attention if it is successful. Uh, such a feature could become standard in future models. Oh, we should hire the Nigerian consultants here. Uh, let's let's take a look. Um, let's hire a consultant and ask them about the awfulness of our cars. So where where did we do that? Uh, reports uh, consultant. Yes, new one. Oh, not seven. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Your designs are mediocre. And best design. Worst design is empty. They they didn't they didn't bother to choose one. Let let me help you guys. It's the whale. It's the whale. Uh, cutting edge technologies improve first safety because we are only like half a century um, ahead of the competition. Yes, makes perfect sense. Our cars are underpriced, uh, overpriced, but uh, we are much cheaper than the competition. <laughs> no, please make it stop. Make it stop! All right, actually, let's let's compare this. So, Vela is cheaper than a competition. Yes, much cheaper. Free, it's 10% cheaper than a competition. Then we have the Velan, which is cheaper and slightly more expensive than a competition. Then we have the Halberd, which is yeah, about on par with the competition. And we have the Mule, which is cheaper than a competition. And we have the Whale, which is cheaper than a competition. Quite significantly so. So, where the fuck do they have their their mouth gone? Uh, that is, yeah, troll. Exa exactly, how, how, did, how did I know? That's a perfect troll. So, um, consultant, you are definitely uh, what I would expect of you. Thank you very much. We shall hire your services again. Uh, to to, if, if we ever are in need of face palms, I mean, you are the perfect source for them. All right, let's cut production a little bit because th this is just ridiculous how much uh, of a production we have for for the whale. Uh, the mule isn't quite as bad, but we only produce it on one line, so that's why. Okay, I assigned all the workers, uh, shifted them around a little bit. Just carry, just shipped a few of them over to Europe. I mean, they don't care, right? And it's that's such a small journey back in the day. Oh, someone else uh, got shock, shock absorbers, and now everyone has them. Okay, here we are in 1927. Our profits have been above 2.5 million now, so uh, it seems like our adjustments to production have actually helped. Uh, let's take a look at scary things here. The whale. Mm, now, we are still overproducing it like crazy. What is going on? It's just building on two lines with 10 workers each. <laughs> We're still underproducing the Valor. How is that even possible? And the Valar too. Well, that's good news though. Okay, I think what we need to do is... Is this even possible? Um, maybe... The, we do need more production of the the Vela, um, so I want to switch out one of the v whales to 
to become the Vela. So let's see if that is, is easy. I doubt it. On the other hand, I think I've set everything in regard of where they are produced to always have these three lines. So maybe that works out. We, we can take a look. Oh yes, much more profit. So I assume that has worked. Uh, take another look here. They're still underproducing. Sold everything. And now we are finally underproducing the whale. Huh. That took a while. Oh yes, these changes may have helped us. Oh, yo, 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 yo. This helped. All right, that's slightly problematic though, as that means we are still underproducing a lot. We built 640 of them, 620, and 158. Okay. I think it might be time to upgrade the factory level then. And now we may be in overproduction. Let's see, I upgraded the three levels and got another line to work on it. So that should be a massive difference. Um, model... No. Ha! Huh. Still not. Still not overproducing. Oh, wow. We have available 500 technicians. I think I'm going to hire 500 technicians. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so stupid. <laughs> All right, the random technicians were hired. Uh, we we found them on the streets of uh, of Detroit, and oh, oh, that's still the old stuff. Shock absorbers, tube and fin, body level two, plastic bumpers. That's new. Now I think we can only assign how many? Fifty-five, maybe? Yeah, fifty-five because it's. Uh, what, what, is, what is that? It's an 8-bit number. 8-bit integer. So uh, you can only have 256 uh, maximum. And 0 is the first number, so it's 255. Just like RGB. That looks kind of scary. Now we have 255 maximum in almost all categories. And I just upgraded to level 10 here as well. Why not, right? Uh, we can always produce more of what we need here. And... Um, um, idle workers 50 uh, definitely not going to put this into the whale or the Vela, but I think the Herbert just needs a few more right now. Oh I, I think I said it wrong right I said Vela or, or Vela, but we put it into the Vela of course because we need still more production. Oh largest profits here we come. Uh, what? No that weren't larger profits. Eh, we might be overproducing. Uh, no the whale is, is keeping pace and now finally we have some overproduction of the Vela. Oh yes, now finally it is there. Uh, the Velan needs some more though. And here we are leading once again with just about 2.4 million. Oh so much in the bank, now it's 1928. And let's take a look at what our sub levels are saying. Oh we have a new six cylinder engine and we have front disc brakes and anti-freeze cooling system and power steering oh that that's impressive that is impressive looks like we need to update our lineup once again oh and we have a new body style oh look locky locky body style number three uh, they have all been changed around already so this is our family sedan um Let's uh, beef it up a little bit. Yeah, all the front discs and anti-freeze. <laughs> Let's see, all the luxury maybe too. Um, what do we have here? Windshield electric starter, still not. No, they, they have, have to hand crank. Uh, that's all the luxury in there. Maybe power steering. Yeah, yeah let's, let's give them power steering. It's pretty awesome. And plastic bumpers, because that makes you safe on the roads. Oh, the refit costs aren't too terrible this time around. Uh, just 8, 8k. Uh, I can live with that with just uh, slightly shy of 60 million in the bank. Oh, no, in, in the pocket, not in the bank. In the bank there's much more. Oh, let's run this. Uh, uh, same, same shit as always. Let's see about the top speed. If the body has... Oh, yeah, the body has increased it, I think. A little bit more aerodynamic. And the braking is is below 200 now. It's almost good. 
So 65, yep, that nothing changes. Nothing ever changes. We are like miles and this is this is so stupid guys. This is so fucking stupid. Like you know, this car, this tech is cutting edge, even though we didn't give it cutting edge, uh, edge technology. Um, it's still far, far ahead of the competition. And yet we still only score 65%. Like compared to what? Is that like including our other cars or something? But they also only score 65%. So who is the 100? That is not defined here and that makes zero sense to me. All right, uh, yeah. Let's give it the uh, the new engine. Our luxury car gets uh, the latest and bestest uh, six-cylinder. Maybe it makes it faster. Maybe the six-cylinder is much faster than this uh, larger eight-cylinder. Okay, only the best for this car. And we shall make it. Okay, okay, okay. Top speed. Is it fast? Si it's even slower. <laughs> Oh no, game! Game, you are so full of facepalm. It's amazing. I mean, at this point, it's not even not even worth the uh, the general motion of doing the facepalm anymore. It's just it's beyond comical at that point. Uh, yeah, right. Um, let's uh, let's uh, also put the. Uh, Maybe maybe we don't want to put the latest engine into into the sports car, making it even slower. Oh, look at how sporty it looks! Oh, sexy beast! I mean, it can't get much slower than than before. Uh, uh, yes, let's uh, give it all the best things as well. Uh, apart from luxuries, we don't need that. Uh, spare tires is good, and because you're bumping into everything, you get the plastic bumpers. And what is the top speed? Is the body super aerodynamic and gets up to speed? 63? No. Oh, it didn't help. Oh, it actually got worse. Awesome. 85%. Yeah, as always. Oh, this one looks mean. That's one mean transporter. Uh, must have a rear engine, like the whole thing back here is just filled with an engine and they make it into a drag car or something. 61% uh, there, and that was all the cars, and I put all the money in the bank once again, and oh, uh, we see where the where 1930 carries us. What what just happened? We've gained six million. Uh, where's all the money coming from? Let's see, south east. Uh, that, that's all looking normal. Oh, we've started selling in southern Europe. Something has happened in January 1928. Uh, let's see what's sold. I think we sold out of stock a little bit more. So the whale. No, the whale is not, not the source of our profits. Uh oh. That is still underproducing. Yes, it's not. And the habit sold out. And the mule has almost sold out. Let's give the mule like 10 more workers here uh, that that should help us with the production and the Vela still has room to improve so we can put 30 extra per line oh the graphics changed we have reached almost the 1930s um, yeah largest profits we need to be watched the radios has now come from our cars to the populace <laughs> isn't isn't that amazing we were so far ahead with our radios in the cars oh no the the crash is here the crash is here and no one cares we still make huge profits let's see if that actually affect no no one, <laughs> no one cares oh no the stock market crash i'm oh i'm fainting oh i need my smell salts oh no we basically lost fifty thousand this month <gasps> no we're making even more profits than before um what what is what is this bullshit now we're making like like best profits ever <laughs> this is this is the worst crash in financial history right here it 
the, it's it's called a crash because all the money crashes into my lap, you know? That is, uh, that is what the game meant with this. And we are reaching 1930! Oh, now, now we are below 3 million profits a month. Uh, let's see what our cars are doing. Um, the whale... Oh yeah, we are slightly underproducing. That's great for the whale. Uh, no, from 2000 down to 1200. Brilliant. The Valor is slightly overproducing. That is not even half a month worth of stock. So that's fine. The Villan has a little bit of extra. Halbert, perfect production. The Mule is slightly underproduced. Not by much. Uh, oh, well, that's hard to say. Maybe we should up the production of the Mule a little bit and see what happens. I'll just assign twice the amount of workers. That should give us like 50%-ish more output. Around there. I think that's uh, that's about how they modeled it. Um, at least I, I would do that. Well, that doesn't mean anything, right? Um, so uh, when you double the, the amount of workers, the output adds 50%. So if you go from 100 to 200 workers, you get uh, 150 instead of 100 cars. It kind of makes sense. It's like uh, diminishing returns stuff. Uh, that seems to be in the game here too. And the model comparison. Oh, we are still... Yeah, our pricing is pretty much spot on. What about the sub-level systems? Ooh, we have come far. Um, We probably have new tech available now too. It has been two years since I checked. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey guys, long time no see, like two years ago. Where have you been? We have developed all this cool new tech. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I don't care. Wow, wow, look at that. Uh, is there anything new? Yes, uh, head restraints and nothing else. So I don't really care. We, we could put some more, hire more people here though and put them in like from the street just drag them off the street the homeless people and put them in our tech lab oh 80 there and assign 105 there and we have 15 idols all right fire 15 it's like we've hired 15 people who we just fired again that's <laughs> that's how you do it that's how you do it ah, there we go oh yeah bank it's it's Kerob. Kerob speaking here. Yeah? Uh, I have a slight problem. I have the uh, the gross national product of a uh, of a small country to dump into your bank account. Um, uh, I would uh, I would like you to um, kind of kind of come by here with. Uh, I think I need four trucks. Yeah, four, four trucks sounds right. Four 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 big ones. Yes, you know you know the 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 big big ones, right? Yes. Exactly, it's 87 million. Yes, you heard right, 87. Y yes, yes, I'm repeating myself. Eight, seven, and then million. Yes, okay, good. All right, send them, send them by soon. Yes, thank you. Oh, a new body style. Oh, look at that. Maybe we need to make a new car. The family wagon. Will there be a market for it? I don't know. I don't know. Can we find out? No, only by using our own cars. So, uh, uh, no, no, no. Maybe we need to design a new car here. Ah, that's maybe because they got into the new sub-level system? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we all... Oh, shit, we are already one step ahead of that again? Do we have new cars again? Oh, no, that's the, that's the latest level. Okay, uh, fair enough. So, sports car, family sedan, family wagon. Yes, that's new. Pickup truck, sports car, family wagon. Let's make a family wagon. Not much variation there, no. But this one looks the meanest, so I take it. Oh no, that's that's the wrong body type. Um, how do we... Damn it. How do we get this body type, then? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I guess this sports car body doesn't tell you. You have to guess. Ah, there we have some wagon-y style things. Yes. Wow, this, this looks really mean. It's the sprint wagon. So where are we at? Oh, we have a, a six-cylinder with 6.2 liters now. Uh, that's a new engine. 
It's probably from the 70s now. Uh, do we... Do we want to have something as fancy in there, or maybe just a four-cylinder? I think the four-cylinder is still good. Oh, awesome! Look at this! Crumple zones! Well, that's very safe. All right, I reduced uh, the, the super luxury version a little bit here. That's just the, the heater. That was just too much. Uh, let them be heated by the four-cylinder 2.4 liter. Uh, that should be good enough. And now we shall make it the... Uh, yes, uh, we need to call it something. Let's call it the Agro Wagon, because it really looks that way. Yes, we make the car and we test it all and it will be a 65%. 77? That's fast. It's fast faster than our modern sports cars. <laughs> that is so stupid. Ah, a little bit more cargo there. 63%. Oh, I was I was off with my guess by 1.9%. Uh, 1.89%. Uh, yep, not too bad. Okay. Let's take it. It's the wagon. It's the agro wagon. Perfect. Oh, that's a demand question I see now. Okay. Northern, northeastern uh, US is the only way we can sell this thing. Um, uh, anyway, we still need to set up the lines and shit. Um, yeah, let's quickly do this. Okay, I think we've it all set up. So now we need to define a price. Ah, what could that be? Uh, 2,800? And now everything is destroyed again because reasons. Probably I should have done that first. I, I don't know. I have to. I need to change the first option here to whatever it needs to be. Oh fucking hell! Okay, I think it's correct now. Um, let's see if this one sells. And Southern Europe is now showing remarkable interest in the family wagon. Oh, huh. all right. They love the wagons. Them wagons. The agro wagon. Oh, we are producing the correct amount of uh, vehicles. Where, where is all this interest? I don't see it. Zero. I think we need to uh, actually update our other cars as well. And then I think it's time to wrap up this episode. And uh, from what it looks like, the next one may be the final one because we're just running away. We're running away from the competition. There's no challenge whatsoever. And we have explored all the bad that is the game already, I think. Uh, it won't surprise us with much more. Here's the test, and wow! Wow, this top speed. Yo, that's fast. It's faster than all our sports cars. Oh, this one gets our latest... V uh, what, is, what is this? Is this supposed to be a V6 or Boxer 6? I don't know, probably at this... <laughs> oh, no, it must be a Boxer. Because um, uh, this day and age, they oh well, we are in the 70s, so it could <laughs> could well be could well be a V6, but 6.2 liters that is far too much uh, for a V6. It would be rattly as hell. So uh, I guess it's a boxer, which is much more balanced. And here we're running the new engine. And see how quick this guy is. And see. <laughs> It is so much slower than than uh, our wagon, the family wagon, which uses the whatever it was, some kind of other, like half half the size engine. Oh, this one gets up to 71. Our halberd, uh, yeah, slightly faster, slightly more aerodynamic. 59. It's getting worse. Yeah, and well, now it has a larger engine in it. That would actually be realistic. It would make it a worse sports car on average if you have a very heavy front engine. It would be a much better drag car, but no, yeah, no, not much more. I, I doubt they really had that insight though, or the thought, the general thought. This balance seems to be completely off in every regard. It's like uh, engines from 30 years ago are, from effectively 30 years ago, um, are giving our sports cars a much higher top speed than the current massive engines you can choose. Uh, 
doesn't make much sense whatsoever, especially if you don't see horsepower numbers or anything. If, if they had some kind of indication for how much uh, power they delivered, okay, that's a different story, right? But nope, that's not the case. Uh, we don't upgrade our, our workhorses. Uh, it's too much to ask for. All right, all right, let's uh, forward a month and 3.2 million, nothing has changed. So, yeah, let's let's take a quick look at our sub-level systems now. After we have changed things. Where is it? There. Okay. <laughs> wow. They are still running on the bare minimum of luxuries. There's nothing in these cars. How can they even have a luxury car? And why is that even selling compared to my cars? I mean... My my mule would be a better luxury car than their luxury lineup. It makes zero sense, but that is something we have established a long time ago. And with this, I shall leave you to it. And I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.